This product is a double G ureteral stent. Double G ureteral stents are used to pass ureteral obstructions and to relieve the renal collecting system. They can be used routinely or as a setter after endoscopic ureterorhinoscopy and endoscopic ureteral stone surgery after stone surgery, as well as in the passage of stenosis due to tumors or compression from outside the ureter or fibrosis. When you open the package, there will be one double G stand, one guide wire, two compression clips, and one pusher. In order to facilitate the use of double G stents in open surgery, a fixation suture is placed next to the double G stent. If endoscopic surgery is to be performed, you can remove the suture. When removing it, our recommendation is not to pull it off, but to cut it with a suture or scissors and pull out the remaining part. When stretched, you can disrupt the curved ends of the double G stent, which is called pigtail in English. Stretching is therefore not recommended. Double G stents can be open at both ends, as in this example, or closed at one end. If both ends are open, the guide will protrude from one of the ends. Guides are hydrophilic, meaning they like the water environment. Therefore, we do not recommend using a separate lubricant. It will reach sufficient lubrication only when you wet it with sterile saline. After placing our guide, you can also use this part if you wish while advancing the Gady Double G stent. Our stent will flatten as we advance it. In open-ended stents, when you advance the guide completely, the stent will become flat connected to the guide. The soft end of the guide will remain in front of the stent. In this way, when the stent advanced from the collecting system reaches its place, the guide can be slowly withdrawn and the stent can be left with one end in the kidney and one end in the bladder.